Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. OCR, now what is OCR? Uh, so OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition. Okay, so what does that mean? That there is some information which is available in any of the document. It could be PDF format, it could be image format, it could be uh, MS Word document, it could be anything. Okay, so OCR's responsibility is to capture those printed information which is there and pass it to the some uh, uh, like pass it to the certain system or pass it to the certain uh, fields uh, basically. So OCR is the optical character recognition uh, which accepts the information which is available on face of the document. Um, uh, so this is the, the this is the whole purpose of the OCR. Now let's talk about the Vim OCR. So again, the OCR stands for the same optical character recognition. So when I was mentioning that it accepts the information which is available on face of uh, any document. Uh, so here in the Vim OCR, obviously it is a face of invoice basically because uh, Vim is for the vendor invoices only, right? So whenever the vendor sends the information, like for example, we are purchasing anything from the Amazon, right? So Amazon sends, uh, so uh, whenever they're delivering the goods, they also send the invoice call, right? So in the bigger organization, what happens? Like since they have a very good volumes and all, and uh, capturing the information which is available on face of invoice takes a time, like if, uh, like if, um, if any, if, if, if I am telling to the AP user to manually capture it, to manually write it in the screen, so it takes a lot of time and efforts if the volume is on a very higher side. Okay, so if the volume is on a very lower side of the organization, then it's, it makes sense they can go without OCR even. But nowadays, every organization wants to automate their process. So, Vim is having that functionality, OCR functionality is one of the automation uh, feature which ex, uh, which understands certain information which is available on face of invoice. So, so here basically, so based on the quantum and the volume of the uh, volume of the invoices which is coming on annual uh, annual basis. So mostly organization wants that some some automation tool or some OCR should be there who should uh, fetch the information which is there. Uh, so basically, so that is the purpose basically why the organization wants like to implement some of the OCR solutions so that uh, they can uh, like they can ease their business process and pro process the invoices on time because manual efforts will be required so much like if I am just asking the AP team to manually fetch it out and the uh, uh, like the mistakes from the human human mistakes and all also will be there. So that is the reason why the tool comes into the picture. See, it doesn't mean everything is having certain drawbacks and all. So technology also comes with certain limitations and drawbacks. So it is not like like uh, the uh, the technology comes with the 100% uh, uh, precision rate, right? So it doesn't happen it. Like for example, uh, like the way how it is written on face of invoice for example l is there right so might be system will uh, understand as a one or vice versa or uh, five or s so such type of uh, mistakes can always be done by the system so there obviously the some some human intervention is required to correct all those things so it is not like the, the technology, once the technology comes, so there will not be any mistake, right? There will be, always there will be, uh, because it also comes with certain technical glitches or certain 
uh, like the the information which is available on face of invoice might be it will not it is not be able to extract it or like the way uh, the vendor uh, sends the invoice and whatever they have written it in a digital format that is something which might be computer is not be able to understand it right certain information so like that it always happens so uh, so it is not like the with the 100% preci uh, precision rate the uh, the uh, the technology works and i'm not talking about only uh, uh, the vimos here i'm talking about the overall perspective the technology is al also comes with certain drawbacks certain limitations so that is also something which everyone needs to accept it because what happened like when we actually go with the business and all uh, business just think it that okay no everything should be 100% but it, it cannot be everything is having certain limitations certain drawbacks okay so so in major like uh, in the bigger organization where the quantum of the uh, uh, quantum of the invoices uh, volume of the invoices are on a very higher side they are basically uh, the organization always goes with the OCR solution so so vim is for the vendor invoices so whenever the vendor sends the invoices so OCR will extract those informations and then pass it back to the vim <clears throat> now Open text has come up with three different OCR products till now. First is ICC, it stands for Invoice Capture Center. Okay. ICC is now no longer being supported by the Open Text. Okay. So now they have completely removed this ICC and they are not even supporting it. A uh, few of the uh, the uh, like um, the organization might be still using ICC because they were into the older versions. So only the older versions are something basically which uh, uh, like uh, uh, the the organization can uh, can use this ICC. Otherwise, the ICC if, if you talk uh, talking from the newer uh, newer version of Open Text, then ICC is no more supportable. So ICC is now kind of a obsolete thing. The second one is BCC. BCC stands for Business Capture Center. Okay. So BCC stands for the Business Capture Center. And the third tool basically which Open Text has given, which is the recent version, which we call it as IES. It stands for Information. Action services and also we call it as uh, IC4S. So somewhere you will also see it is IC4S. Okay, some some someone says it IC4S also. Okay, so so these are the three different. Uh, uh, open text OCR products which open text has given so far as I mentioned in the previous classes also that open text provided OCR is an optional component it is not a it is not like like because this type of questions can also come because whenever you are going for an interview or anything it is it is not a mandatory tool to have it most of the people just get confused no this is being open this is being provided by the open text so we cannot integrate with the any other third party OCR tool. We can integrate it. So this is the uh, this is an optional component. Okay. So so these are the three different uh, open text provided OCR products. Uh, and the recent version is the IEA. Thanks for watching the video. For full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.